The Windsmith Mill Market is back as one of the popular destinations here in Norwood. If you want to get out of the house and browse, the market has eight vintage shops with over 100 vendors. As you drive in, the first business you'll see is Remarkable Cleanouts owned by Mark Waters. You know, we do cleanouts. We do probably three or four cleanouts every week. And there's probably three or four bedrooms. So we take everything in, we recycle as much as 80%. So we use Boomerang, Savers, Salvation Army, the veterans, whoever takes the donations at that time. And with the virus, we've had a stockpile because the donation centers haven't been taking anything. So we get the cream of the crop. We got grandfather clocks, like I say, we got bookcases, we got bedroom sets, we got dining room sets, we got china, anything you can think of. We got stuff for bars, we have pitches, art, Stained glass. I love stained glass. Look at all the glassware over here. We got Waterford. We got Bleak. We got some of the big names. They call it antiques. I call it stuff. Just lots of furniture, lots of stuff. It's everything that we come from a clean out that we, everybody else would throw away. So we start to recycle in it. Uh, we've got probably 10,000 square feet here. We got anything from soup to nuts that come out from clean out. Even though they have an extra large space, Remarkable Cleanouts follows the guidelines and requests that their customers do the same. They also provide sanitizers in several locations spaced throughout the store. Well, I tell you what, it's great to be open. We got a great base of customers. What we've done is we try to do the CDC rules here. We get sanitizer here. In order to come in, we do have to wear face mask, uh, which is kind of a pain in the butt, but we do what we have to do. Uh, we wipe down as much as we can. We do allow that six foot difference but like I say we're, we're very large you can see we got probably over 10,000 square feet so there's no problem with six feet you can see what our politicians are doing especially here in Norwood here uh, they're following the rules I haven't had one problem with people wearing their mask so that's what I thought the biggest thing was going to be is the mask and that's the number one thing is to wear the mask Remarkable Cleanouts started as a family side business and Mark realized that he had enough stuff to make it a full-time business you know, I was a general contractor, and uh, I come in, I used to climb the roofs, 40-foot ladders, and during that time, going back there, people, the help wasn't showing up, and I ended up climbing up the ladders. I don't want to climb up the ladders no more. But in order to do the job, we had to remove all this furniture out of the way to put up the new sheetrock, to do whatever, and they were throwing this furniture and all this stuff into the dumpsters. And I'm saying there's more money going in the dumpster than I'm making on this job. So I started taking the stuff out, storing it in the garage, and having yard sales. So we then came to Norwood and opened up a, a small store, and then moved and opened up a little bigger store, and moved and opened up a little bigger store. Then the management here came in and they showed me this little warehouse space that we had. And you know, together with the manager and myself, we cleaned the whole place. We filled up like 140 yard dumpsters and we created what they call the Winsmith Mill. And today's what it is. I mean, it's like an antique Mecca. It's a place that you can come in on a Friday, a Saturday, a Sunday. Enjoy the afternoon, anytime from 9 o'clock to 5 o'clock in the evening. It's going to take you a good three, four hours to walk through the entire place. You know, if you get tired, it's not like one of the big stores. There's always a seat to sit down and relax, especially you men. Come to our men cave. We, we create men caves and man caves or women's caves or whatever cave you want to be in. Come on down to Remarkable Cleanout. Mark is looking forward to expanding in the fall and will be adding a new shopping experience for his customers. You know, coming in September, we have a brand new building coming up. Uh, we're working with the town of Norwood to get the building finished, which is going to be strictly an auction hall and a thing what I call marketplace. And the marketplace is just going to be items that come off the truck. And it's going to be like a large flea market. Here you go. Give me a dollar, take it off. Because we have to move these items. And there's always great items at the auction. It's not a money auction. You know, it's, it's like a night out for entertainment. It's a lot of fun. I'm your entertainer. I'm your auctioneer. So if you don't like it, you know, there's, you know, there's gloves off. You can't have any feelings at my auctions. You know, because... I'm pretty hardcore. I embarrass everybody. But it's a lot of fun, and we do it in good taste. So uh, it's a night to come out and chill out, relax, let your hair down. Not like this. Not like Jack over there. He don't have any like me. So uh, it's a night to relax and have some laughs. You know, loosen up, America. Loosen up, Norwood. You know, chill. Let's have some fun. 
Remarkable Cleanouts located in the Winsmith Mill Market, Norwood.